Welcome to my sewing journey. Today I've been working on one for the dog lovers, an actual dog ornament. You can make your dog look like theirs if you wanted to, or you could use any fabric, maybe their favorite color. These are fun to do. I chose plaid and some brown felt. How you're going to make your pattern is quite simple. We'll start with the body first. You make two squares for the legs, a rectangle for the center section, a half circle on the end of that for the hind quarter. Then you want to do the neck, which you're going to curve it a little bit here, and then you put an oval for the head. Afterwards, you, you join your little X six or sections where there's paper and there's nothing there. But you're going to cut two of those. Then you're going to make the pattern for the underbelly. You know, you want to go up here with the triangle. I'll show you on the actual. I should have put a scarf on later. I just realized that. <laughs> kind of covers it. But you're going to go all the way up to about here with that triangle. And then on his hind quarter, you're going to put the triangle there. And that's the underbelly. I like to do mine on the fold, so I did my pattern to be on the fold. The under legs, which you're going to sew to that underbelly, you're going to cut four little squares that match the inside here. Now I sewed mine on, you can see it says leg there. I sewed mine on like that on all four sides before I sewed anything else, so I did that first. Then next, I took the body and sewed the body onto this piece here. And I stopped sewing right at the top there of the triangles. As you can see, there's a little triangles there. So I didn't sew this part or that part or the part that you leave open for stuffing. Then I, I checked my line up to make sure that they lined up nicely with the legs. And then I sewed up and around and I stopped right here because you're going to have to turn this at some point in time to the right side. And then I started sewing again right here all the way around, down around to his nose to that triangle there. And that made the head. Next, I did the tail, which the tail is just a rectangle. And I found out the hard way that the tail won't stay up unless you use like a toothpick in there or some sort of thin little piece of, like maybe a piece of straw or something like that. It's not going to stand standing up. But what else I did was I folded it in half and sewed it, turned it to the right side, stuffed the toothpick in there, and then sewed it, tack sewed it onto his hind quarter. Next were the ears, kind of like a very long oval shape. I cut those out of felt, but you don't have to do that. You could do your ears out of regular fabric if you wanted to, but I did mine out of felt and I just tacked them on and I tacked on this one. You can see better the eye right there, just some sewing. And then I did a rectangle with a scarf out of felt and I put that on and I sewed it on and I cut a little, little slits in it to make that fringe. And then the last thing I did was the little piece of um, cord, like little twine thing, so that it could hang off the Christmas tree for the person who will be receiving this as a Christmas gift. I hope you like this idea. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for subscribing. And happy sewing.